In the profound realm of metaphysical thought, the union of seeking and finding is an essential paradigm. This concept dissolves the dichotomy between the inner and outer worlds, suggesting that the quest for external control is a reflection of internal turmoil. By aligning our inner vision with the outer reality, we enter a state of synchronicity where our deepest desires manifest effortlessly. This philosophy echoes the ancient wisdom found in the Bhagavad Gita, where Lord Krishna speaks of the union of the self with the divine, leading to effortless action in the world. As we evolve in our understanding and application of universal laws, a common thread emerges. The ability to assume a state of formlessness or detachment. This concept, akin to the Taoist principle of Wei Wei, emphasizes non-action in the midst of action. It's a state of being where we are deeply connected to the rhythms of life, yet unattached to specific outcomes, allowing for the organic unfolding of our life script. The subconscious mind is a fertile ground, rich with the seeds of potential. It mirrors the concept of the Akashic Records, an ethereal compendium of all human knowledge and experience, as referenced in theosophical teachings. By cultivating stillness, we create space for intuitive insights and transformative ideas to surface. This process of internal purification aligns our conscious desires with the subconscious programming, leading to a harmonious expression of our true selves. In the art of allowing, we find the essence of true freedom. It's a practice of surrender, akin to the mystical teachings of Rumi, where the egoic self dissolves into the cosmic dance of existence. Here, we transcend the illusion of being the sole architects of our fate, opening ourselves to the possibilities that life presents. This is not detachment in the clinical sense, but a deep integration of our physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual aspects, fostering a holistic and balanced approach to life. At its core, the art of allowing is an exercise in trust, trust in the natural progression of life, trust in the inherent wisdom of the universe, and trust in ourselves as integral parts of this grand tapestry. It's about recognizing that life, in all its unpredictability, is not a series of random occurrences, but a carefully orchestrated symphony, with each note, each pause, and each crescendo holding its unique place and purpose. In practicing this art, we learn to flow with life, much like a leaf surrenders to the currents of a river. This surrender is not about giving up our dreams or ambitions. Rather, it's about aligning them with the greater flow of existence. It's an acknowledgement that while we can set intentions and take actions and take actions, the final outcome often unfolds in ways beyond our direct control. This realization brings with it a profound peace, the peace of knowing that we are participating in a larger story, one that weaves our individual narratives into the universal fabric. The art of allowing also teaches us about the beauty of impermanence. In this practice, we learn to appreciate the transient nature of all things, understanding that change is not an adversary to be battled, but a natural part of existence to be embraced. This perspective allows us to cherish each moment, each experience, and each connection, knowing that they are fleeting and therefore infinitely precious. Furthermore, this practice encourages a deep introspection, inviting us to examine our inner landscapes and gently release the barriers we have erected against life's natural flow. These barriers, often built from fear, past hurts, or ingrained beliefs, can prevent us from fully experiencing the present. As we dismantle these walls, we open ourselves to a richer, more authentic engagement with life. Embracing life's flow also entails an acceptance of ourselves. It's an invitation to honor our unique journey with its triumphs and tribulations, 
as a vital part of our growth. In this acceptance, we find the freedom to be our true selves, unencumbered by the expectations of others or the constraints of societal norms. The art of allowing is also a practice of gratitude. In flowing with life, we become acutely aware of the multitude of blessings that surround us, the subtle gifts that each day brings, the lessons hidden in challenges, and the joy found in simple moments. This gratitude fosters a deep sense of contentment and a recognition of the abundance that life offers. The process of manifesting our desires is a delicate interplay between imagination and reality. In this space, we envision our aspirations, drawing inspiration from the infinite well of creativity that resides within us. This is reminiscent of Plato's theory of forms, where the physical world is a reflection of a higher, more perfect reality. As we align our inner visions with our outer experiences, we become co-creators with the universe, shaping our reality with intention and grace. Central to this practice is the power of imagination, a tool far beyond simple fantasy. It is a potent, creative force, a catalyst that transforms the ethereal fabric of our dreams into the tangible tapestry of reality. In harnessing this power, we open the gates to a domain where our deepest desires begin to materialize. This process is not an escape from reality, but rather an enhancement of it, a fusion of our innermost hopes with the world as we experience it. In this interplay, imagination is the guiding light, directing each step with precision and intent. As we envision our desires, we infuse them with the energy of our convictions, our passions, and our beliefs. This act of visualization is a sacred ritual, a declaration to the universe of our deepest intentions. We become like artists, painting our dreams with the vivid hues of detailed imagery, emotional depth, and focused attention, crafting a vivid vision of what we seek to bring into being. Yet, this process is incomplete without the grounding force of reality. Here, reality is not a rigid, unyielding plane, but a dynamic, responsive canvas to our imaginative brushstrokes. It listens to the echoes of our thoughts, responds to the frequencies of our emotions, and shapes itself in harmony with the blueprint of our desires. In this malleable reality, every thought, every emotion, and every emotion, and every action is a deliberate stride towards realizing our dreams. This convergence of imagination and reality also involves a journey of trust and surrender. It calls for faith in the unseen, a steadfast belief in the potency of our inner world, and the courage to release the desire for immediate, tangible proofs. It is a path of patience, understanding that each envisioned desire is akin to a seed, planted requiring time to germinate, grow, and eventually blossom. In manifesting our desires, we also learn the art of alignment, aligning our thoughts, emotions, and actions with our envisioned goals. This alignment is not about forceful effort, but about achieving a harmonious resonance, like tuning an instrument to the perfect note. When this alignment is reached, our desires transform from distant dreams into tangible elements of our daily lives. Moreover, this process of manifestation teaches us about the transformative power of our desires. As we focus on bringing our dreams to fruition, we are not merely altering external circumstances. We are not merely altering external circumstances. We are also undergoing a profound internal metam... We become more in tune with the subtleties of our inner selves, more conscious of the vastness of our potential, and more seamlessly connected to the universal flow of creation. In the practice of presence, we nurture the seed of consciousness, 
planted within us. This is akin to the teachings of Eckhart Tolle, who emphasizes the power of the present moment. By remaining aware and present, we engage with life from a place of centeredness, allowing our actions to flow from a state of inner alignment. This practice encourages us to release the need for control, trusting in the organic unfolding of our life's journey and embracing each moment as an opportunity for growth and transformation. As we engage in this practice, we find ourselves stepping into a realm where time loses its linear trajectory. The past and the future, often laden with the weights of regret and anxiety, dissolve into the ether of the now. In this eternal present, we discover the liberating truth that we are not merely passive observers of our lives, but active participants in a cosmic play. This realization is not just intellectual. It's a visceral awakening that courses through our veins, invigorating every cell with a renewed sense of purpose and vitality. In the art of being present, we learn to listen, truly listen, to the silent language of the universe. It speaks in the rustling of leaves, the gentle caress of the wind, and the quietude of our own inner world. This dialogue is not constructed of words, but of feelings, intuitions, and the subtle yet profound knowing that emanates from deep within. As we attune ourselves to this dialogue, we begin to perceive the interconnectedness of all things. We understand that every action, no matter how small, ripples across the fabric of reality, touching lives and shaping destinies. This practice also invites us to shed the layers of our ego, those constructed identities and narratives that constrict our true selves. As these layers peel away, what is revealed is our authentic essence, unencumbered by societal masks or pretenses. It is a return to our primal state, where we stand in our inherent worth and beauty, unadorned yet magnificent in our simplicity. Moreover, the practice of presence is a sanctuary where healing occurs. In the stillness, we find the space to confront our inner demons not with force, but with an understanding and gentle acceptance. This process is not about eradicating parts of ourselves, but about integrating them, recognizing that even our shadows are integral to the wholeness of our being. In this integration, we find a peace that is not the absence of turmoil, but the acceptance of it as a part of the human experience. As we continue to nurture this seed of consciousness, we find that our perception of the world around us transforms. We begin to see beauty in the mundane, wisdom in silence and lessons in adversity. Life, in all its chaotic splendor, becomes a canvas on which we paint with the colors of our heightened perceptions and enriched experiences. Ultimately, the practice of presence is a journey back to ourselves, a pilgrimage to the core of our being, where we uncover the truth that we are not just a part of the universe, but that the universe is a part of a universe, is a part of us. In this realization, we find an unshakable serenity and a joy that emanates from the depths of our soul, illuminating our path and guiding us towards a life lived in harmony with the world within and around us.